12 ways to survive an earthquake. When it comes to natural disasters, nobody's 100% safe from this disaster. But anyone, but no matter where anybody lives, they they need to know how to survive an earthquake because nobody knows where they might be traveling or living in the future. So make sure you listen to these three things that can save your life one day. Number number one make your house your fortress the first thing you need to do before a disaster is make your house a fortress to do this move your desk next to windows and in your room and and avoid beds and windows this could save your life if an earthquake happens at night in the dining room move put Put a closet around windows and don't put the desk in there. This can save your life if you're hiding under a table and it could and it can avoid bleeding. Get another thing that you should do is let an expert text test your house, apartment, or any other building you live. Get earthquake insurance for where you on your place this could really help you out after disaster number two if you're in a building if you're in a building and you hear and feel an earthquake starting don't panic see what's happening and, and reassure others what you should do is drop cover and hold on drop so drop right into your knees that and to do this use one arm to cover your head and neck and then use the other one to hold on if you and then hide under a sturdy anything a desk a bed or a table if you're in a chosen shelter hold on the ground will most likely be shaking if there's nowhere nearby at least stay away from the windows if there's windows all around you, then make sure they're sturdy. Wherever you are, drop, cover, and hold on. Do you get it? Okay, good. Number four. Number three. If you're outside, if you're outside and you feel an earthquake starting, here's what you should do. You need to know the following. Do not run. If you run, you're, you can get squashed by a huge building. And don't panic. What you should do is is avoid tall buildings and anything that can fall. Once you're in a safe place, drop cover and hold on. Number four, if you're in a car. If you're in a car during an earthquake, it's very dangerous. If you're panicking on the road, it can turn to a serious accident. So, make sure you stop. Make sure... You don't do the following. Do not try to drive around that hoping that you'll escape. That's most deaths that happen are caused by, by that. So stop the car immediately. Try to avoid tall buildings or anything that can fall. If there's something that can fall on, if there's something that can fall into the car, then move to a safe place. And then drive to a safe place and then And number five, if you're in the beach or the shore, if you're in the beach or the shore and you feel an earthquake start, do not wait for any obstructions. An earthquake can trigger a tsunami. So it's best to get your things immediately and, and go to higher ground. Number six, if you're in a wheelchair, if you're in any, if you're not a normal po po person who's, who has to work on using a walker or one of these things where you have to walk or a wheelchair, here's what you should do if an earthquake starts. Walk your wheels and then cover your head with your neck. You can also use anything else to cover your head and neck, a book, a pillow, or a rug, and then hold on. Remember, walk, cover, and hold on number seven if you're in the pool if you're in the pool and and you see 
and feel an earthquake start, you need to remember the following. Just because an earthquake doesn't, just because a pool doesn't have a a table, you can still survive. Stay where you are. Drop cover and hold on. But that's not it. If there's if there's some gates or something that can fall, then move to safe. Then go somewhere else and then walk cover and hold on. Number eight. If you're in an elevator, if you're in an elevator. Before an earthquake, you'd use an elevator to get in, really? But if you suddenly get in there from out of nowhere, you you need to remember the following. Lie down like this. <laughs> Lie down on the floor. Cover your head with your neck. Wait until the earth wait until the elevator starts working again. And then use the stairs after you do that. Number nine. If you're in a trail, if you're in a trail of a hike for hiking and you see and feel an earthquake start, you need to remember the following. Do not try to run. Most stuff that happen during an earthquake in, in a, can trigger a landslide. So it's best to find. So. Stay in the middle. Instead of going high or low, stay in the middle between the up and the down. If you go upside, you'll slip and then and then the landslide will get even bigger. If you if you are down, then the rock will fall on you. So stay anywhere in the middle if you can. Number 10, if you are in, let's see, if, if you're on top of a building, if you're on top of the building and you see a field earthquake start, you need to remember the following, and try Stay there, cover, lock, drop cover, and hold on. But if it's about to fall, then try to go somewhere as low as, try to go in the middle, see what, like right in the middle. Any, any, where, anywhere that's not, that's not so high or not so low. Number 11, if you're in a, if you're in a bridge, if you're in a bridge crossing something, you need to remember the following. If it fall, if it collapses and then you're under the car, you, you should remember the following. Try to roll down your window instead of, instead of opening the car once you're underwater. Wait, wait until you can find a place. Wait until you, wait until you can find a place so that you can, so you can get in land, and then, and then wait for help. Number, number twelve. If you're stuck under rubble. If you're stuck on the rubble and during or after earthquake and can't get out, you need to do this. Do not try. Do not move. It'll keep up. It'll just get dust and and can get in your eyes and lungs. What you should do is, if you have a whistle, use it immediately. <laughs> if you don't have one, see if there's something that you can knock on. If you if you don't have, if there's nothing in nearby to knock on, then stay put, and then, and then make rescuers find you. That does it for our list today, but don't go anywhere just yet. We also want to say that we have a new Twitter account, so if you want to follow us, you can do it. It is Desmond Forrest. 
you can follow us. Please follow us and make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification channel to join us on our on our channel.